Hello, intrepid explorers and lovers of the mysterious. It's great to have you back on Mystery Infinity. Today's adventure is truly special. We're voyaging into the ancient and mystical realm of Norse mythology. Picture a world where formidable gods, gigantic giants, and mythical creatures roam free. We're talking about a universe filled with astounding tales and legendary sagas, from the thunderous exploits of Thor to the crafty schemes of Loki. Every legend we're about to explore has shaped the rich tapestry of Norse culture and continues to fascinate us to this day. So, are you ready to traverse the mythical landscapes where heroic deeds and magical lore intertwine? Fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to embark on a journey through time and myth. Don't forget to subscribe to Mystery Infinity for more mesmerizing stories. We promise, this journey through Norse mythology will be nothing short of epic. Grab your helmets and join us as we set sail into a world where the extraordinary is the norm and every tale is a doorway to the ancient past. In the beginning, the creation of the Norse world. In the mystical beginnings of Norse mythology, everything started with, well, nothing really. Picture a vast emptiness, a void called Jinungagap. It's the kind of nothingness that makes you think, could really use some cosmic decoration here. On one side, there was Niflheim, a realm so chilly, it makes your winter freezer look like a tropical vacation. On the other, Muspelheim, a land of fire and lava, basically, your ultimate barbecue gone wild. In this chilly and fiery standoff, something incredible happened. The heat from Muspelheim met the frost from Niflheim right in Jinunga Gap, and from this clash, life emerged. First came Ymir, a frost giant, and honestly, not the friendliest chap you'd meet. Along with Ymir, came a cosmic cow named Adhumla. Yes, a cow. Norse myths really have it all. Adhumla, being a cow and all, did what cows do best, she licked salty ice blocks. As bizarre as it sounds, her licking led to the creation of Buri, the first of the Aesir gods. Talk about an unusual birth story. Now, Ymir wasn't destined to stick around. From him came the first beings, but he was also, well, kind of the first casualty. Odin and his brothers, Vili and Ve, decided it was time for a change in management. They took down Ymir and created the world from his, um, remains. His flesh turned into earth, his blood into oceans, his bones into mountains. Talk about recycling. And so, the stage was set for the epic tales of Norse mythology. The world created from Ymir's body became the playground for gods, giants, and all sorts of mystical beings. From this somewhat gory beginning, the Tree of Life, Yggdrasil, sprouted, connecting the nine realms of Norse cosmology. It's a beginning that's as dramatic as it is unique, setting the tone for a mythology rich in adventure, conflict, and the ever-blurring lines between creation and destruction. Gods and Goddesses, the Aesir and Vanir. In the cosmic drama of Norse mythology, the spotlight shines on two superstar teams of deities, the Aesir and the Vanir. Think of them like the ancient divine version of rival sports teams, but with more thunder and less football. The Aesir, residing in Asgard, are kind of like the A-list celebrities of Norse gods. You've got Odin, the Allfather, a wise and one-eyed god who's as keen on knowledge as he is on warfare. He's the type of guy who'd sacrifice an eye for wisdom, and well, he actually did. Then there's Thor, everyone's favorite hammer-wielding thunder god. When he's not busy making thunderstorms, he's out battling giants, proving that even gods have tough workdays. Let's not forget Frigg, Odin's wife, the goddess of marriage and motherhood. She's the queen of Asgard and a symbol of love and foresight, kind of the Norse version of a multitasking supermom. On the other side are the Vanir, known for their connection to nature, fertility, and fortune. They're like the chill cousins who are really into agriculture and peace. Freya, the most famous among them, is a goddess of love, beauty, and fertility. She's fierce, riding into battle on a chariot pulled by cats, because why not? Freyr, her brother, rules over sunshine and rain, making sure everyone gets their vitamin D and enough water for their crops. The stories of these gods and goddesses are more than just divine soap operas. They reflect the values and struggles of the Norse people. The Aesir and Vanir had their differences, leading to a bit of a divine tussle, but eventually, they realized that teaming up was a better idea. This truce is like a celestial lesson in diplomacy and unity. Asgard, their home, wasn't just a realm. It was a symbol of power, order, and the incredible abilities of these gods. 
So as we talk about each god and goddess, remember, they're more than mythical figures. They're representations of life's many facets, love, wisdom, war, and even the weather. Tales of Valor and Trickery, Norse Myths and Legends Norse mythology is like the ultimate collection of adventure stories, each more thrilling than the last. Take Thor's quest to retrieve Mjolnir, his mighty hammer. It's not just a simple, lost and found, case. He had to dress up as a bride. Yes, you heard that right, to trick a giant who had stolen it. Picture the god of thunder in a wedding gown, trying not to smash things up. It's the kind of story that makes you think twice about misplacing your stuff. Then there's Loki, the god of mischief. Calling him a troublemaker would be an understatement. This guy was like the original prankster, but his jokes often landed the gods in hot water. Like the time he cut off the hair of Thor's wife, Seif, just for laughs. Not the best idea when dealing with a god who wields a hammer. Loki's antics show us a world where gods weren't just solemn and mighty, but also had a sense of humor, albeit a sometimes questionable one. These tales, filled with valor and trickery, were more than just bedtime stories for the Norse. They mirrored the struggles, joys, and values of their daily lives. Heroes like Thor and Odin weren't just worshipped. They were role models, embodying the virtues of strength, bravery, and wisdom. Even the mischievous Loki had his place, representing the more unpredictable aspects of life and reminding everyone that even gods could be outwitted. Each myth and legend carries with it a piece of ancient Norse culture, giving us a window into how they viewed the world. These stories were passed down through generations, preserving the legacy and beliefs of the Norse people. So, as we explore these legendary tales, we're not just uncovering ancient myths, we're connecting with the hearts and minds of those who told them. Let's keep diving into these sagas and unravel the lessons, laughter, and lore they hold. Symbols and Sagas Understanding Norse Mythology Dive into the sea of Norse mythology, and you'll find it's not just about gods throwing hammers or tricksters causing chaos. It's a world brimming with symbols, each packed with meaning. Take Yggdrasil, the world tree, for example. This isn't just any old tree you'd find in your backyard. It's the cosmic backbone of the Norse universe, connecting the nine worlds. It's like the ultimate spiritual GPS, guiding the cosmos and linking everything from the gods' home in Asgard to the human world, Midgard. Then there are the runes, Norse mythology's answer to mystical alphabets. These weren't just letters, they were believed to hold magical powers. People used them for everything from predicting the future to casting spells. Imagine writing a letter that could also double as a good luck charm. That's your basic runic text message. The runes were a language of both communication and mysticism, deeply intertwined with the Norse way of life. And let's not forget the sagas, the blockbusters of Norse literature. These weren't just stories, they were epic narratives that captured everything from heroic deeds to everyday life. Sagas like the Volsunga and the Poetic Edda give us a front row seat to the drama, values, and struggles of the ancient Norse. They're like a historical diary, spiced up with a generous dose of mythology. Understanding these symbols and sagas is key to getting the full picture of Norse mythology. They're more than just artistic expressions. They're windows into how the ancient Norse people viewed the world around them. From the mighty Yggdrasil to the mysterious runes, each symbol and story adds a piece to the puzzle of understanding this fascinating mythology. So, as we explore these ancient symbols and sagas, we're not just learning about gods and giants, we're tapping into the heart and soul of Norse culture. Ragnarok. The End and Rebirth. Ragnarok. Even the word sounds like the end of the world, doesn't it? In Norse mythology, it's not just any old apocalypse, it's the grand finale, the ultimate showdown. Picture this. A series of events so cataclysmic that they lead to the end of the gods themselves. We're talking about massive battles, the world submerged in water, and even the sun turning black. It's like the Norse version of a blockbuster movie, but way more epic. But what kicks off Ragnarok? Well, it's a chain reaction. It starts with three consecutive winters, yes, winters so bad that you'd forget what the sun looks like. Then, it's chaos time. Giants against gods, monsters breaking free, and the world tree, Yggdrasil, shaking from its roots. It's as if all the pent-up tension in the universe finally explodes. The big names show up for the battle. Thor taking on the world serpent, Odin facing the fearsome wolf Fenrir. It's like a who's who of Norse mythology, all coming together for one final rumble. 
Now, you might be thinking, that's it? Everything just ends? But here's the twist. Ragnarok is also about rebirth. After all the destruction, a new world rises from the waters, fresh and green. Two humans, Leaf and Lithrasser, survive to repopulate the earth. It's not just doom and gloom, it's a cycle of destruction and renewal. The Norse saw the end of the world not just as a finale but as a necessary reset, a chance for a new beginning. So, in the grand scheme of Norse mythology, Ragnarok isn't just a tale of despair. It's a story of hope, renewal, and the resilience of life. It teaches us that even in the darkest of times, there's the potential for new beginnings. In a way, Ragnarok captures the essence of Norse mythology, a world where endings are just new beginnings in disguise. As we conclude our journey through these ancient myths, remember, they're more than just stories, they're reflections of life's eternal cycle. And there we have it, fellow explorers, the end of our epic saga through the ancient and mystical world of Norse mythology. How did you find the journey through these legendary realms of gods, giants, and mythical creatures? Did any particular tale or deity capture your imagination? We'd love to hear which myths resonated with you, so drop your favorites in the comments below. If you were enthralled by this adventure into the past, why not spread the magic? Give us a like, share this video with friends, and let's bring more people aboard our exploration journey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Mystery Infinity community, where we're always on the hunt for more fascinating facts and stories from history, science, and beyond. Stay curious and get ready for more exciting discoveries in our upcoming adventures.